Okay, for part B here, 12B, notice that there are two zeros that are given. That's because we have a, a fourth power. So if it's a fourth power, you'll have to eventually do synthetic twice to take it down to a quadratic equation, so that's why you're gonna get two zeros. But we're still gonna do part one the same. List of possible real rational zeros. The formula is still gonna be the same. It's factors of the last number divided by factors of the first number. So we're gonna do factors of four, and we're gonna do factors of six. So we got the, again, factors of the last number over factors of the first number here. Uh, so again, a factor is a number that divides evenly into each of those. So numbers that divide evenly into four will be one, two, and four. Those are all the numbers that divide evenly into four. On the bottom, factors of six, plus or minus one, two, three, and six. So just go through the list of numbers and write down which one divides evenly into six and that would be all those. As I mentioned before, for, the, for part A, you don't wanna leave all that uh, in the form like this. You wanna divide all of them out and write that down as one big list. So you're gonna take all numbers on top divided by one. So we're gonna do plus or minus one, plus or minus two, and plus or minus four. So all the numbers divide by one. Now you're gonna take all the numbers on top, divide by two. So if I take, I'll get uh, one half. So plus or minus one half. Now if I do two over two, that gives me one. I already have one on my list, so I don't have to write it a second time. Four over two is two. We already have that on our list. So you don't have to write, write it down once. So you don't need to do any repeats. If you already have it on the list, you can just leave it. Okay, then next we're gonna do uh, everything on top, divide by uh, three, so we did everything on top divided by two, so next we're gonna do everything on top divided by three. Okay, so I do one third, so I have plus or minus uh, one third, and I do plus or minus two thirds, plus or minus four thirds. So I have all the numbers on top divided by three. So now I'm gonna do all the numbers on top divided by six. So again, if I already have something on this list, I don't have to write it a second time. So I'm gonna do plus or minus uh, one sixth. If I do two sixths, that's one third. I already have one third on my list. And if I do four over six, that's two thirds. I already have that on my list. So this right here would be your uh, complete list. We notice that two of the values that are already given to us, those aren't automatically appear on our list. And so that's what we do for part I. So for double I, we wanna use synthetic division to find the other zeros. That's where we're gonna use the two zeros that are given. For part double I, we wanna use synthetic division to find the other zeros. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, if you have a fourth power, you're gonna to have to do synthetic division twice because every time you do synthetic, it only drops the power down by one. So if I have a cube, that's why only one zero was necessary and that was the case for 12A. But now a fourth power, I gotta give you two. So if it's a fourth power, I must give you uh, two of the zeros. Every time you do synthetic, it'll drop the power down by one. So if, it doesn't matter which one of these that we start with. Let's start with negative one. We'll put that inside the box. Now, when we write the coefficient sets here, we gotta be careful. We gotta make sure all of the powers of x are present. If one's missing, we gotta put in a zero for a placekeeper. So I have a fourth, a third, a square, but I don't have an x to the first power. So because I have that term missing, I gotta put a zero in there as a placekeeper. So I have six, negative five, negative 15. Zero for placekeeper because we don't have that in there and a four. The reason why we have to put the placekeeper in there is because if we don't have that in there, we're gonna be subtracting the wrong terms or we're not gonna get the correct answer. It's possible to get the answer by luck, but you're gonna be missing one of the terms on the end if you do that. So. Uh, we need that zero placekeeper in, in the end. Okay, so now we're going to drop down the six. We're gonna do our synthetic steps. We multiply that, we get negative six. We'll put that underneath the next column. We're gonna add always when you do synthetic. We get negative 11 when we add that together. Times negative one will give you positive 11. Add that together and you get negative four. 
multiply by the negative 1 and you'll get positive 4. We add that together and you get another 4 again. When you multiply it by negative 1, we get negative 4 should add up to a 0. So again, if you don't get a 0, that means maybe you forgot to put a placekeeper in or you did some mistake inside here. You should always get a 0 as a result. Now, what you're going to do next is take the other 0 that you haven't used yet and use that with the answers you got from negative 1. See, if we take negative 1 and just go back to the original one, we will get a 0 again, but we're still going to be stuck with a cube because that's basically how this would work. When, when you did synthetic once, it took it down to a cube, so we gotta do it one more time to take it down to a square. So, I'm gonna take one half, and I gotta use the answers that I got for the previous one. So I'm gonna use these same numbers here and do it a second time. Six comes down, I multiply by a half, I'm gonna get three. Three goes here, I'm gonna add those together. I get negative eight. Multiply by one half, I get negative four. If I add that together, I get negative eight. So again, we're doing addition for all this operation. Negative eight times one half is negative four. And there it is, I get a zero. So now notice that there's three terms. That would be your x squared, x, and non-x term that you would have. So the next thing I gotta do is write this out as an equation and I get this as a result. So I have uh, these here. Uh, now this part that's left over, I want to try and factor it again like I did before for the previous one. So I look for my common factors. There's a 2 that I can factor out of each of these. I get 3x squared minus 4x minus 4 left over and that equals 0. I want to try and factor this one here if I can. Now so far in this review, if you've watched the other problems, I've showed one example with uh, factoring by grouping, I did one with bottoms up method. This one, I'm going to factor by doing kind of a trial and error method. Because I, I, have, I don't have a lot of factors with these two numbers here, and that's why it makes it easier to do uh, with trial and error. So I know that this the only possibility for 3x squared is I need an x somewhere and a 3x in there. Now the 4, I can use 1 and 4 or 2 and 2. Let me start with 2 and 2 and see if that works. So I kind of want to multiply this out in my head to see if I, which combination will give me a negative 4. Now if I do 3 times 2, that's 6, and I have a 2 there, so if I subtract 6 and 4, I'll get, or if I, if I subtract 6 and 2, I'll get a 4. Now I'm going to make this one negative and that a positive, because that way I have a negative 6 and a positive 2 will give me the negative 4. And then plus 2 and minus 2 will give me the negative 4. So now this is going to be uh, fully factored. Therefore, I'm going to set this equal to zero. Now the, now the two, I can't set that equal to zero. That's not going to give me an answer. But these two, I will. So if I do 3x plus 2 equals zero and x minus 2 equals zero, I'll get the other answers. This one, if I solve for it, I'll get negative 2 thirds. This one, if I solve for it, I'm going to get uh, 2. So therefore, it says, use the division to find the, because it says other zeros, that means I don't have to include these two as part of my answer. I'm just going to put these two answers down uh, for double i. Okay, for triple i, it says use the zeros to factor f of x. Now I wrote this down that we had before from the previous part from uh, double i. We got these two answers and we ended up getting this part that we factored in part two. So remember that your factored piece from part two is always going to be used for part three. So the very first thing I'm going to start with is the, when I, when I got these, they actually came from this factor. I want to look at this factored form here from part two. So two times three x plus two, x minus two. That's going to be part of my factored answer. The other part of it is going to be using that formula x minus the zero like we did for number one on this test. x minus the zero we're going to do x minus negative 1, so x minus a negative will be x plus 1, and we're going to do x minus uh, 1 half. But like the previous example I did for 12a, we can't, we don't want to leave an answer that has a, uh, a fraction in it like that. What we want to do is apply the 2 that's out front. So notice that whenever I get a number out front here, that's always going to be able to cancel out the numerator here, and it always works that way if you did it correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the order. Now this may not happen in every problem that you do of this type. You may actually not have a number out there at all. 
and then it'll be easier. You're just going to have all these just the way it is. If you end up getting a number here with a fraction, you should always end up with a number out front that's going to be able to cancel it out. Uh, so I'm going to first rearrange this and put those two terms together. I can multiply these in any order, and what I'm choosing to do is multiply the first two terms together because that way I can cancel out the, the one half. So when I do that, I'm going to get 2x minus 1 as a result, and then here is the rest of them. So the rest of it I'm just going to go ahead and write uh, as is. So this would be fully factored, and if you were to take all this and multiply all of it out, we should get exactly the same thing that we started with here.